In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to actually use the Unsplash API in a real project using HTML and JavaScript. I haven't built anything with React or any frameworks here. This is super easy to pick up and do yourself. So basically you'll just be clicking a button and you'll be getting an image so this video has come about due to a question on the other video I have about the Unsplash API, which you can watch by clicking in the top right of the screen. And quite simply, you're gonna take the uh, query that you've built using that video. Uh, in my case, I've got a query string, which is London and a client ID appended onto the Unsplash API call. Now this key has been deleted from my account, so don't bother trying to use it. But basically when you call that, you get back an array of results. Uh, and each result is an object, which shows you uh, all the information you're going to need about each photo. So in this case, I'm just opening up some different uh, URLs on the object just to look at the photos that are coming back. And I'm doing this in my browser with a uh, parser for JSON. So you can also do that too. Here I've just used a different term dog just to show that the query worked. So this is a quick demo of the app. You basically just click a button and in this div underneath it, an image of in my case, London is going to get shown in that div. Now, in this case, it came up twice, but click it again, you get a new image. All right, so I'm just going to very quickly walk you through exactly what this code here actually does. Um, so I've basically got my body and my script tag. I haven't gone overboard with this. I haven't you know, made an external JavaScript file because it's a very sort of basic example. But basically, I've got my body um, on the site which has a div as you saw previously, and then just another div which has an image in it that's all styled and it kind of all looks horrible. Um, but you know, it's just a button and a div basically. So if I reload the page, this is what the body first renders out in the index.html. And then below that, I've got the script tag where I do a couple of things. So first off, I define my constants. So I've got my request URL, um, which is your the URL that you'll need to send out to uh, unsplash and then your client ID goes in here at the end you've then got a second const which just picks up the button and a second const which picks up the image display and then basically you've just got two events um, one is on the button that when it is clicked it calls the get new image method and this is an async function because uh, the unsplash API is asynchronous and then basically once that image comes back it, you know, it then puts that image URL into the uh, into the source of the image. Uh, I know that's a, a lot of the word image over and over again, but I mean this image tag, all image tags have an SRC attribute, which can hold a URL or a directory link to show an image file. So that's basically what I'm doing. And then down here in this get new image method, uh, first off, I'm making a random number between uh, one and 10. And then I basically just use the fetch API from JavaScript. I give it the request URL, which I've defined up here. And then I basically just wait for a response to come back. And then once I have that response data, I basically go to the data.results array. Uh, and then I, sorry, uh, object. And then I put that random number in the data.results. And that gives me a random image from the, uh, from the images that come back. And I basically just return that random image URL. It's regular size, uh, which goes all the way back into this random image variable. And that random image variable is then set on the image source. So that's kind of just a breakdown of how to use this code or use this API call in an actual application. And if you want to, I've linked it down below, a link to the actual repo with the code. Um, so you just go there and you can play about with it. You can pull it out. Uh, if there's anything with it you'd like to change or do a PR, you're more than welcome to. I'd love to see some uh, some other people see your implementations of it. But that's it. It's that script tag right there. You just need to put your client ID. So again, if you want to know how to do that, the other video that talks about using the Unsplash API, I've linked it down below. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, it helped. Please consider subscribing. Thanks so much and see you again soon.